British regulators have warned people with severe allergies not to get the Pfizer vaccine just yet as they investigate serious reactions in two people. Thousands of people in the UK have now received the COVID-19 vaccine. Here's Dr Norman Swan on the significance of the two adverse reactions. Some allergy experts were not surprised by the announcement that these two patients had serious reactions to the Pfizer vaccine. While investigators are yet to confirm the offending ingredient, it's likely to be a substance called PEG, polyethylene glycol, which is used in cosmetics, toothpaste and packaged foods, and is known to cause anaphylactic reactions rarely. In October, researchers published a series of cases of PEG allergy and recently warned about the Pfizer vaccine. Professor Jim Buttery is an expert in vaccine safety. PEG is a lipid compound or a fat compound that is used to help stabilise the mRNA, which is the active bit of the COVID genome that is used in the vaccine. It's also been used in one of the other mRNA vaccines, the Moderna vaccine. Vaccine allergies are rare, just over one case in every million doses, usually due to preservatives or other parts of the vaccine. Pfizer say they had no increased incidence of allergies in their trial. And that's probably because they excluded people with a history of severe allergy. So does this mean that people with allergies should avoid COVID vaccines? Whenever we move a vaccine from trials into the real population, we start coming up uh, with people who receive the vaccine who have more complex medical conditions, including a background of severe allergy. And so we'll be learning from the UK experience. So the messages are, this is a rare side effect. And there will probably be more as these vaccines are rolled out in the real world. Lucky for us here in Australia, we're in no rush. And by the time our turn comes, a lot of these wrinkles will be ironed out.